in this video I want to uh, integrate using the partial fraction method so let's look at this question <coughs> where you want to we want to integrate this function 1 over uh, x squared plus 2x plus minus 3 dx so let's write it again so we want to integrate 1 over x squared uh, plus 2x minus 3 so let's factorize the denominator first into two brackets okay so this is equal to integration of 1 over putting them in two brackets so this will be x uh, plus 3 times x minus 1 okay now the problem is you in this form this is not integrable you can't integrate so we need to split this into two fractions so let me use a different color so let's say let 1 over x plus 3 times x x plus 3 times x minus 1 is same as writing a over x plus 3 plus b over x minus 1 so if you simplify if you simplify the right hand side you can compare the 1 with a times x minus 1 uh, plus b times x minus 3 so I hope you understand this step. What I've done on the right hand side is if you cross multiply or basically you're multiplying x minus 1 to a or to this first fraction and you're multiplying x plus 3 to the second fraction. So the denominators will be the same. So you can compare the numerator. So the numerator of the left hand side is 1 and the numerator of the right hand side is this. Now there are two ways of getting to the answer. So one way is to uh, cancel a. So you can let, uh, you can use algebra. So let's use algebra and then I'll show you how you can do it quickly. So if you expand this out, so one I can write is ax minus a plus bx plus 3b. I just expanded the right hand side out. So 1 is equal to, now simplifying, bringing the x's together, I could write this as a plus b times x, a plus b times x, plus 3b minus a. Okay, so here I can say there is no term of x on the right hand side, so I can make up two equations. So a plus b is going to be 0. And I'm going to write this as minus a plus 3b is equal to 1. So this is simultaneous equation of two unknowns. So this and this gets cancelled. So you can say 4b is equal to 1. And so b is equal to 1 quarter. So if b is 1 quarter and we know a plus b is 0, you can understand a should be negative 1 quarter. So this is one way of doing it, expanding it out and using logic and a bit of algebra to figure out A or B. The second method is, this is the first method, or you can also do like this. You can say, if you want to cancel this A, I'm going to let X is equal to 1. So if you let X equal to 1, so let me use a different color. If X is equal to 1, what will happen? The This side... So um, this will become what? This A will get cancelled. You can say 1 is equal to 4B. And here we go. B is equal to half. B is equal to quarter. Okay, this is a faster way of decomposing or finding A and B. Okay, and if, so if you want to cancel B, what should you do? You have to let X is equal to negative 3. When X is negative 3, you can say 1 is equal to negative 4b and sorry negative 4a negative 4a when you put 
negative 3 here this is going to get cancelled and here you can get a is equal to negative 1 quarter so a is negative 1 quarter and b is plus 1 quarter so let's continue from here so this so we can say this is same as so this is same a is negative 1 quarter and b is 1 quarter so this is same as writing negative 1 quarter over x plus 3 plus 1 quarter times divide sorry divided by x minus 1 and if you factor the 1 quarter out uh, let me drag this to this side if you factor the 1 quarter out you can write this as 1 over x plus 1 sorry 1 over x minus 1 plus no it's not plus if you fact I'm writing this first uh, minus 1 over x minus x plus 3 so basically I have split this this into this or 1 over x plus 3 times x minus 1 is 1 over x minus 1 times sorry take away 1 over x plus 3 so let's move forward so we can say so we can say integration so let me rewrite integration of 1 over x plus 3 times x minus 1 dx is same as 1 quarter you can factor the 1 quarter out times integration of 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 3 dx so let me put a big bracket dx okay so let me scroll up so this integrates to 1 quarter the integration you can integrate each of them individually the integration of 1 over x minus 1 is going to be natural log of x minus 1 minus natural log of x plus 3 and using the natural log rule so this is same as 1 quarter times plus c of course plus a constant of integration so this is x minus 1 over x plus 3 plus c now to just confirm whether this integration is right this is something that you can do yourself you can differentiate this now to differentiate natural log of x minus 1 over x plus 1 you need to use the chain rule so so when you integrate sorry when you're differentiating inside you have to use the quotient rule so use the quotient rule to differentiate inside and then you can differentiate natural log of this as 1 over this whole thing and then if you simplify you'll get back the original integral which is x squared plus 2x minus 3 or this